I'm gonna talk about Bloom Energy as a mechanical engineer. I don't know the financials, I don't know much about the company, but I know what their technology does, and I've studied it intensively. It all started for me as a mechanical engineer when it was time for me to select my first hot water heater for a building. My boss told me that if we would have had natural gas to the location, that we could select any hot water heater that we want, and it does not matter the efficiency. Then he said, since we do not have natural gas at the location, we must be extremely cautious about what kind of hot water heater we choose. You must size out how much energy it will take to heat up the water and choose something that will do that and a little bit more. You do not want to oversize a hot water heater. The reason for this is because they are extremely inefficient because they use electric resistive heat. So you could think to yourself, man, I really wish we did have natural gas here, that would be nice. Now, that's the case for hot water heaters and many other kitchen appliances. You will rarely find a full service commercial kitchen in the United States without natural gas. We've all seen the stoves that have the little blue flame coming off of them. In other words, in any case where natural gas could be used, it is preferred. Now what is natural gas? It's methane, CH4. One carbon, four hydrogen. It is a hydrocarbon fuel. Currently, natural gas is combusted to create energy. Keyword, combusted. A combustion reaction happens between a hydrocarbon fuel and atmospheric air. Octane is C8H18. Methane is CH4. In other words, if you burn the same amount of methane and octane, you are going to get eight times less carbon dioxide output from the methane. That is because there's one carbon atom compared to eight. We have confirmed that natural gas is preferred when available, and we have confirmed that combusting natural gas has less negative repercussions than octane. Bloom Energy has solved every one of these problems simultaneously. I'm impressed. This is what happened. Bloom Energy said, you want to use natural gas? We got you. Oh, you don't want a combustion reaction? Oh yeah, we got you, man. Bloom Energy has made this unit, you can call it, and it looks kind of like a washing machine. It is an enclosed metal object, if you will. And this object is able to turn methane, natural gas, into electricity with no combustion reaction. This is unbelievable. Groundbreaking shit. You gave me some hydrogen, some methane, and said turn this into electricity, I would say I don't know how to do that. I could not do that. They have fucking done it. How do you achieve this? So where do we go from here? Well, we know that the infrastructure for natural gas is pretty much there already. You see commercials from your local utility company all the time saying that hey, you can save energy with natural gas. That means either the infrastructure is there or they have no problem putting it in. And here's another positive one for you. Natural gas is less likely to fail. All it takes is one tree falling down and a whole entire county could lose their power. Well, in natural gas, the research is there, the literature is there. It seems to actually be unaffected by natural disasters such as hurricanes, tsunamis, and surprisingly, earthquakes. Now, let's get into where this will be used. Entering the market, Bloom's first customers will be people who are using a shit ton of energy. You don't need this thing if you have three lights on in your house. You don't even need this thing if you're at a larger building, such as a public library. Now what about a hospital? They have backup generators, we know that. What about a manufacturing facility? If you tell the head of a manufacturing facility that you can save them on energy, they will n unquestionably do whatever you say. Energy is one of the biggest overhead costs for these types of facilities. You have to understand how much energy these places are using. If you told these fucks that they could not burn coal tomorrow, they would be fucked! Well, what about solar? It's not fucking sunny everywhere, bitch. You really wanna keep a fucking manufacturing facility powered by eight car batteries in the fucking basement? Not gonna happen, dude. Well, what about hydro energy? There's not fucking water, there's deserts, bitch. Sorry, I get worked up a little bit on these topics. Now, nuclear, I'll give it a fucking chance, for God's sakes. I mean, it, it, can, it can output some energy, I'll tell you. My kid might have three legs, but the lights are staying on. We are gonna need to use hydrocarbon fuel in the future. If you don't think so, fuck, you're an asshole. They're gonna simply tap into the ground, get the fucking natural gas out of that bastard, and they're gonna fucking go to town with it. Run it straight into the bloom box. It produces a shit ton of energy. Like a full-size factory could be run off like 10 to 20 of these things. People are gonna use this. Manufacturing facilities in particular. Nobody's gonna know about this technology because they simply just don't understand it. I've had this stock for about two months now. I've seen nice, it's been nice. <laughs> That's because I knew about the technology and I was confident to invest. I encourage you to take what I've said from this video, do your own research, 
and build that confidence for yourself and Bloom Energy so that you can invest your money in this company. And if you don't, you know, go fuck yourself.